Keeps me warm. Oh, shit, I already did that one for an intro. I'm at Tire Kingdom, and now I'm leaving. They piss me off, because they are a bunch of momo momos that keep me pissed off. What's up, everybody? Bloggy Blog Time. It's a Monday. It's not that much of a fun day. This dude can't drive because he's a fucking moron. She's a fucking moron. Whatever. So, uh, how's it going? How's it swinging? How's it flapping? I did a $20 scratchy scratch time last night and won jack shit. Uh, uh, sorry, geek man. I tried. I even got it from a different place. Not that it matters. You can lose in any part of Florida. So, uh, yeah. Tire Kingdom. Last time I went to Tire Kingdom, I did a blog about it. They fucking pissed me off. Made me wait three hours. One asshole told me to give his fucking technician gas money because he didn't want to go get my tires that I needed. Blah, 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 blah. Ended up buying insurance on every tire. Insurance on every tire is 15 bucks just in case you get a screw in your tire, right? Right, right? Yeah, in case you get a screw, you know, they fix it for free. I'm like, what the fuck's that? I thought that was my car. Anyway... Anyway, so I get a screw in my fucking tire on Thursday. I call Tire Kingdom on Thursday. Thursday morning, Thursday whenever. I think it was Wednesday. I can't fucking remember. But I call Tire Kingdom early Thursday. And I said, listen, I got a screw in my tire. I'm calling you a day ahead of time. But make sure you have my tire in stock. They're like, oh, man, don't worry about it, man. We'll just patch your tire up. It'll take like 20, 30 minutes. You ain't got nothing to worry about. I'm like, all right. Mind you, this is the same Tire Kingdom that I called the fucking corporate on before and ended up sending me a check for 125 bucks. So, so, and the, and the regional manager, which was a really nice guy, he, uh, he said, please come back to our store. So I get a screw in my tire. So I call him up Thursday. I said, I will make sure you have the, my tire in stock. He's like, no, man, you don't need, you know, don't worry about that. Just come in and we'll patch it up. You'll be out of here in 20, 30 minutes. And I'm like, oh, all right, all right, all right. So, so, so I call him Thursday. And then I, how many times am I going to say that? So Friday, the general manager of the store and his co-worker, his underling, they come in for lunch. So I'm like, I'm like, what time are you guys there till today? Because I got to. I got a screw in my tire, and I got the I got the road hazard. They're like, "Oh, you got the road hazard insurance? We're there till seven. Just come on in. We'll take care of you." I'm like, "All right, things are going good." So I get off work at about five five till five. They close at seven. I get there about five oh five, five oh eight, five ten, about five ten. As soon as I walk in there, one of the guys I waited on earlier is like, "Oh, I know why you're here," and he's like, "We're not gonna be able to get to you today, man." I'm like, what? I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I called yesterday and you told me not to worry. It'd take 20 to 30 minutes. I didn't need an appointment. And I didn't need nothing. Like, well, it's the end of the day. To them, the end of the day is two hours before they close. Funny, at a restaurant, they'll come in one minute before we close and stay two hours after we're closed and we're supposed to deal with that. Not only that, in the restaurant, everyone wants everything right fucking now. I want it now. I can't wait two seconds. And if you if they have to wait 30 seconds for anything, you start getting fucking screw faces. You start mean mugging you. So now I start mean mugging this guy. I'm like, I, I called yesterday and I was told 20 to 30 minutes. I didn't need an appointment or nothing. He's like, well, it's the end of the day and this guy's waiting and that guy's waiting. And I can't pull my guy off that job to do your flat tire. I said, yeah, but that's why I called yesterday. So all of a sudden, it turned. It went from, we can't get to you today, to, oh, I just want you to know it's not going to be 20, 30 minutes. I go, I'll wait. I don't care. Uh, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he could get to me. And then in about 40 minutes, they pull my car in there. Then about 6 o'clock, they're like, they pull, they bring my tire in the fucking thing, and they're like, Oh, you must have been riding this on the rim, which is total bullshit because I have an air compressor in my trunk. As soon as I saw I had a flat, I fucking pumped it up. 
if it rode on the rim at all, it was right before I, I even pumped it up and not before I even knew it was flat. And there was all this rubber dust inside of it. So, and he goes, and we don't have this tire in stock. I go, that's why I called yesterday to make sure that you got my tire in stock. He's like, oh, I don't know who you spoke to, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, that's it, man. I'm calling. And, plus, and then he puts his fucking measuring gauge. He measures the tread with some kind of measuring gauge. And he shoots it out some fucking fraction I've never heard in my life. Like, yeah, you're at uh, 16 sixteenths. You're at 15, 14 sixteenths. So that means they're only taking $32 off your road hazard insurance. And I'm like, oh, yeah? Does uh, Mike Smith still the regional manager? And he's like, and he gave me this look. All of a sudden, he got all professional. And he was like, yeah, he's still the regional manager. And uh, all of a sudden, he's like, oh, I put some more tread on your tire, man. I made it 18 sixteenths or some bullshit. I don't know what the fuck he said. But whatever he did, it changed it from $30 off to $52 off. <laughs> as soon as I brought up the regional's name. So, so I still... I got to come out of pocket fucking $48 and then you add another $25 on for lifetime balance because the lifetime balance on the old tire doesn't count. You got to pay another 10 bucks and another $15 for road hazard again. So there you go. And then I left a message with the corporate guy. He hasn't called me back. I wonder if he's going to call me back this time, or he probably thinks that I'm a fucking douchebag or something. Regardless, there's my fucking Tire Kingdom story. What else I got? That took seven minutes. The Tire Kingdom where I used to live was fucking awesome. The Tire Kingdom here in Lando Lakes, Lutz, Lutz, they can suck these Lutz, okay? These lug nuts. How about that? Suck on these lug nuts. So, oh, that's another thing. I had my rim stolen one time, so I put two fucking lock nuts on each wheel. I gave them the Tire Kingdom. I got three lock nuts on my back right wheel and one lock nut on my front right wheel and two on the other two. They couldn't comprehend that there was two lock nuts on each fucking wheel. So, what else I got for you? So, yeah, so that's that. Now I'm riding... This fucking car looks so stupid with a spare. You feel like such a douche. Stands out so bad. You got 18 inch rims and then one of them's a fucking little tiny black donut. Uh, uh. Anyway, what else I got for you? Syria. Supposedly Syria chemical gassed their own people, which is total bullshit. I don't fucking believe that for a second. They deny it themselves. And... And supposedly the UN's weapons, chemical weapon, ex weapons inspectors were going in there, and some snipers opened fire on them. And of course, America blames Syria for both of these things, without evidence, of course, because uh, you know America doesn't need evidence. What they say goes because they're America. So now they're considering fucking going to war with Syria, a country that's never done anything to America, and we have no business fucking being over there in the first place. And what else? That's some bullshit. Bottom line. Again, uh, another uh, enemy of Israel. Uh, Israel's right there in the neighborhood. Uh, America's America's Israel's big brother for some reason. Because Israel runs this shit. And, you know, it's, a, it's some bullshit. Obama should be impeached. And people that are trying to impeach Obama are getting attacked by police. For free speech. They don't like that for some reason. Uh, what else? Fucking VMA Awards. I didn't get to watch the VMA Awards because uh, we were, like, watching marathons of Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad is probably one of the best shows ever created ever in the history of mankind. I just can't get enough of it. I'm fucking sad that it's coming to an end. Life's not going to be the same without Breaking Bad. But anyway, I keep hearing about the VMA Awards and Miley Cyrus doing something or other. I would really like to watch the VMA Awards. I don't know why. If anyone's got like a full link to that on YouTube or Netflix or something, please send it to uh, private message me on my YouTube. And I did a $20 scratchy scratch down last night. Can't fucking win shit. Can't win no Powerball. Can't win no lottery. Can't hit nothing on a scratch off. 
Fucking suck it, man. Suck my lug nuts. Uh, what else? I didn't, couldn't even think of a good intro song to, to, to slaughter for my intro. Uh, that's it. I gained a few pounds over the weekend. That fucking sucks because I wasn't concentrating on what I was eating. I was just eating whatever the fuck I wanted. I still wasn't eating meat, but I was eating lots of fat, lots of oil, lots of cheeses. Shouldn't be eating cheese either. Uh, what else? I don't know. I think that's enough. Ten minutes plus. Headed to school. Be cool. Stay in school. That's it, man. Keeping a gangster. Terror Kingdom. You're fucking pissing me off. Get your shit together. They got no clue about customer service, man. Anyway, bloggy blog time. End transmission. Gypsy Brigand holler at a player. Uh, what's up? The Chan Man. How you doing, Jake? Uh, Elevator Geek. <sighs> A.K.A. James. How's it going? Uh, holla, holla, holla. The other 914 subscribers, I appreciate you subscribing. Hit me up on the Facebook, facebook.com slash John Felix, Phylax, however you want to say it. I don't give a fuck. I'm just as cool either way. Uh, yeah. Peace, chicken grease. My brothers, pull over that ass too fat. I'll see you guys later. Bye.